I think you agree with me that there is a big difference between a 19 year old teenager who fucks a 17 year old girlfriend and a child molester. A big difference, don't you think? Don't you agree? They're not in the same league. How about a 19 year old girl who has sex with a 16 year old boyfriend? Is that as bad as a rapist? Are they in the same league? No. So when you lump all these people in as one conglomerate called registered sex offenders, you actually weaken Megan's law, make it weaker. It loses its stigma. Whereas if only, the only people who have to register as sex offenders are the rapists and child molesters. Then, if you find find out you got a sex offender living in your community, you are cold in disgust because you know he's a, he is a, he or she is a disgusting person. And hey, if somebody molest a child, they should for the rest of their lives had to wear that scarlet letter of registering as a sex offender because that child will be for the rest of his life stigmatized with the fact he was molested. He can it can never be undone. So therefore the sexual the the person who molested him should likewise for the rest of his life had to wear his scarlet letter. Come on you stupid lawmakers, grow a brain. Get your mind off get your mind off of something besides getting drunk on the weekends and Saturday night's booty call, you fools. And hell, what about a teacher who has sex with a Student, I, this is bad, but while I was in seventh grade, I had a seventh grade classmate. He wanted nothing more. He fantasized about having sex with the female teacher. So they know what they're getting into. You stupid fools. Don't you know? To that. Men got married, the underage, quote unquote, women. And it was a. It's what you call situational morality. What's so magic. Uh, what's so magical about the first day of an 18th birthday? You fools.